Now at 5:30, one week and counting until election day, and the boards of election all across the state are making sure we're all set. One way they do this: ensure we have enough poll workers. Our state has already signed up a record number of poll workers, but they still want more. So John Kosick is live outside the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections, and John, well, they've really pulled out all the stops this year to line them up. Yeah, they really did. They didn't want to leave anything to chance. For every two poll workers they needed, they wanted to make sure that there was a third trained and ready to go. Poll workers. Hi, how are you? Driver's license. Thank you. They are the neighbors who guide you through the voting process each election day. Any station behind you and then over to the scanners on the, by the stage. Historically, they tend to be older, retired, those more at risk in a pandemic. If they didn't feel comfortable returning this election, that was understandable. But Secretary of State Frank LaRose said they needed to know. You don't want to be in that situation where having somebody that doesn't show up to work on Tuesday morning, November 3rd, uh, you need to have somebody to call to fill to fill that place. And so you want to have a trained and ready workforce ready to go. So LaRose gave the state's 88 counties a recruitment goal, and it wasn't just to fill the 37,000 positions needed to open the polls. We've told the boards of elections they have to recruit 150 times their normal number. So if you had 150 percent of their normal number, if you normally have a thousand poll workers for your county, you really need to have 1500 trained and ready to go this year. To help, the state went after veterans with a second call to duty appeal, high school seniors, with youth at the booth, nonprofits looking for a way to fundraise, accountants and lawyers who can use their work at the polls for continuing education credits. They even got Ohio brewers to put appeals in the back of beer cans. And they put each county's numbers out there on a poll worker tracker. This is an accountability tool. I'm not hiding from that. Uh, it, you know, you can see which counties are doing well. You can see which counties are a little bit behind. If that will provide some, some motivation to catch up, well, then that's fine. The result being a new record for committed poll workers. The fact that, uh, that we've had tens of thousands of Ohioans that have come to our website and signed up to be a poll worker and that those folks are being trained by our county boards of elections as we speak is awesome. And we have another good crowd here outside of the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections lining up to get their early vote in despite the weather. So far, 74 of the state's 88 counties have either met or exceeded that poll worker goal. None have fallen short of the number they needed to, to open on Election Day. All right, John, we're asking for friends. What does it pay? And is it too late for people to sign up? Yeah, it can pay up to 200 bucks for the day. Uh, it is not too late. You want to check with your local county board of elections individually to see if they have a need. And some of these counties are training as late as Monday for these positions. John Kosick reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, John. Always good to see you.